My Little Sonic Book 1, Friendship is Way Past Cool, The Crusaders and the Hedgehog. Our story begins with the Cutie Mark Crusaders, Abba Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo in their clubhouse discussing once again on how to get their Cutie Marks. Okay, girls, have any ideas on how to get our Cutie Marks? No, nada. Oh, come on, girls, we can't just give up. Listen, Abba Bloom, we know you're trying. But it seems everything we do always seems to end in failure. Huh, <laughs> I guess you guys are right. It's not like our answer is going to be just right outside. Suddenly, they heard a large boom. Whoa, jeez, what was that? The three young ponies went to the window to see what could have made that sound. And by their surprise, they saw Sonic and Rainbow Dash, who must have caused a sonic boom. Well, I win again. Better luck next time, Dashy. Aw, I'll get you next time, Sonic. See you later. The speedy Pegasus then flew away with Sonic laying down to take a nap. For some reason, the sun then shined on Sonic, and only the Crusaders could hear a chorus singing. They were sh for sure Sonic was the one. They rushed out of the clubhouse and over to the blue blur. Don't you think we should come back later? Why? Well, he is sleeping. Nah, he'll be fine. The real question is, is how do we wake him up? Leave it to me. The young little Pegasus went over to Sonic and began to yell at the top of her voice. Wake up! Ah, I'm awake, I'm awake. Oh, hey there, Apple Bloom. Who are your friends? Hello there, Mr. Sonic. Hi. You know, you look kind of familiar. Oh, I'm Rarity's little sister. So that's where you get your looks from. <laughs> Rarity was right, you are quite the charmer. All right, enough of this lovey-dovey stuff. We need to ask you something, Sonic. Go right ahead. Can you help us get our cutie marks? A uh, cutie what now? A cutie mark. Above all, can you explain this? When we discover what makes us very special, our cutie marks appear on our flanks. So you'll help us? Sure, why not? The four walked through Ponyville and talked about what's special about them. So, girls, what exactly am I supposed to do? Just figure out what we do best. Ah, <sighs> hey guys, do you mind if I get my scooter? Not at all. Hmm, a scooter, huh? I have an idea. The hedgehog then got some parts and used his zipper speed to create a big ramp outside of Ponyville and went to get the young ponies. Yeah, I know, but I'm good. All right, Scoots, you're up. Are you crazy? I'm not doing that. But Scootaloo, you might get your cutie mark. Ah, <sighs> fine. Sonic, let's do this. That's the spirit. Sonic grabbed Scootaloo and raised her to the top and at the top, Scootaloo then looked down seeing that it was a long way down. She began to become frightened. She almost fell a bit. Sonic was able to catch her. Sonic, I'm really scared. I mean, I can't even fly yet. What am I gonna do? Listen, Scootaloo, it's okay to be scared. But when I was young, I used to have this saying that helped me out in any situation. What was it? Let's do into it. Really? When I felt like this was going to be my final day, I would always just say that to boost my confidence, so I think this will be great for you. Alright, I will do it. That's the spirit. Besides, I've lived a good life. Scootaloo got on her scooter and began to put it on the edge, and she went off, and right at that second, she closed her eyes. Oh no! Scootaloo, open your eyes! Sonic then raced down right beside the young little Pegasus. Remember, Scootaloo, do it to it. Okay, let's do it to it. Scootaloo began doing tricks like a 180 tail whip and a 360 turn in the air, and she finishes with her going so high, she has to use her wings to make her landing safer. Well, Scootaloo, that was amazing. Nothing but spectacular. <laughs> Thanks. Right at that moment, her cutie mark appeared. Oh my gosh, I got my cutie mark. I got my cutie mark. Wow! All right, my little ponies, who's next? Suddenly, Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle started arguing. Sonic's ear twitched when he heard Sweetie Belle's voice. He thought it was great. He really couldn't believe she doesn't know her special talent when she is doing it. I got a great idea. The blue blur then raced back to Ponyville, and to the young pony's surprise, it was a guitar and a microphone stand. All right, Sweetie Belle, you're up. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't sing. And besides, what will I even sing about? I got something in mind. And when I point at you, you just say my name. Blue Streak, 
speeds by. Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye. Now, Sweetie Pie will take all of that and make a song of that. That was amazing! Yeah, that was awesome! Really, way past cool! Thanks, guys, it was nothing. Any pony could have. In the middle of her Sutton's, her cutie mark appeared. Yes, I did it! Woohoo! Way to go, Sweetie Belle! I'm really happy for you, Sweetie Belle! But finally, we can get on to me! I like your spirit! Let's get to it! Great, let's see if there's anything in the clubhouse! They arrived in the clubhouse, and Sonic was impressed of how it looked on the inside. Wow! You guys did all this? No, nope. it was all Apple Bloom. This girl knows her stuff. <laughs> I have another idea. Moving at the speed of sound, Sonic got some tools and was able to construct a small little shack. All right, Apple Bloom. I need you to make the inside look amazing. Okay. Three minutes later. Done. Whoa, talk about speed. Sonic, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle walked inside and saw the walls are painted blue. Two windows showing Ponyville and the forest and a nice soft bed. Classic Apple Bloom. Totally. Awesome work, Apple Bloom. You got the stuff. Thank you, Sonic. But that was way too easy. Right at the end of her sentence, her cutie mark appeared, and she faints. We'll go take her by the lake and slash some water on her. Thanks again, Sonic. No problem. You did good, Hedgehog. You did good. Well, time to get some sleep. It's only the middle of the day, but that didn't stop the speedster from taking his well-earned nap. <laughs> 